In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up Zoom for both teachers and students in the Durham Catholic District School Board. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I'm signed out of any old Zoom account. So I might have used a personal account before, but now we're using our DC Live email addresses or our DCDSB email addresses, and we're using single sign-on to get to Zoom. So I want to sign out of any old accounts, and here's how I do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to zoom.us in a browser. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome or Safari or whatever I use, and I'm going to go to zoom.us. If I see a sign in button right here, it's everything is good. I'm already signed out on the browser, so I don't need to do anything else. However, if I see something like my account up here, or if you see your initials in the top right corner, you're going to click your initials, or you're going to click my account here, and then you're going to click your avatar or your initials, and you're just going to sign out. Again, click my account in the top right corner, and then click your picture or your initials might be here, and you're going to choose sign out, and that will sign you out of Zoom. Okay, so you're signed out of Zoom online, but we also want to open Zoom on our computer. So if you're on a Mac, you want to go to your launch, rocket launcher and then find the Zoom application. If you're on a PC, you want to go to um, you know, your start menu and then Zoom or find the app on your computer and open it up. This is my Zoom application. Again, I want to do the same thing. I want to click my initials in the top right corner, or um, in this case, it's my avatar, and then I want to choose sign out. And essentially, this signs me out of Zoom, so Zoom does not know who I am anymore, and I'm good to set up a new account in Zoom. So I'm going to set up my new school board email account, either if I'm a teacher, my at dcdsb.ca account, or if I'm a student, my student number at dclive.ca. Uh, okay, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to a new browser. So in Chrome, or I'm going to open up a new window, and I'm going to go to office.com, O-F-F-I-C-E. Dot com. And I'm going to sign in. Again, this is our Microsoft uh, is our board email. So I'm going to click sign in. And when it's asking me to sign in, I'm going to type in my school email address. So for teachers, it'll be first name dot last name at dcdsb.ca. And for students, it'll be a student number, a nine digit number, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at dc, dclive.ca. Okay, then you're going to click next and you're going to enter your password. Uh, my password's already in there, but uh, you can choose a work or school account if that does come up. You're going to enter your password and you're going to choose yes if you want to stay signed in. So once you are in Office, uh, all of your files might come up here, but really what we want to do is we want to go to Zoom through our Office account, which is our board email or our board account. You're going to click the nine square waffle in the top left corner here beside Office 365 and you're going to choose Zoom DCDSB. Now Zoom will probably not be here in which case you're just going to click on this all apps to show you all of the applications and you're going to scroll right down to the bottom and you're going to choose Zoom DCDSB. If you're lucky, this will take you right into your new Zoom account. Um, if not, you might need to do a few more things like configure your account. So the first thing I'm going to do is sign in. Teachers, if you already created a personal account with your DCDSB email address, it might say that your account has been reclaimed by DCDSB. What you want to do is you want to um, either convert or it says uh, combine them together. There's an option to combine them together. Just choose that option. Uh, students, you might see this, sign in to configure your account. We're going to click the sign in and you should come in right here. Now, it might ask you for a domain. If it does ask you for a domain, simply type in dcdsb-ca. The hyphen is the minus sign. So it's dcdsb, the minus sign, ca no spaces and then click continue and it will take you right here and now your account is set up okay so again now you can go and sign in if you open up zoom on your computer anytime you sign into zoom now you're never going to use an email and password whenever you're signing into zoom you're now going to click SSO so you're always going to look for this SSO and there you go, you can launch Zoom. And if I open the Zoom US app here, it'll open to my new account um, with that uh, school board email. So now I'm free as a student. I am free to go and I'm free to click on any Zoom link that my teacher sends me 
and I can sign into it and uh, I can just click it and it will take me there. Now I still may run into a problem if my uh, if my web browser remembers my old Zoom account even though I've signed out of it. So I might click a Zoom link in Edsby. I might have gone to Edsby. My teacher gave me a Zoom link and I might click it and it might come up with this error message. This meeting is for authorized attendees only. In this case, Zoom is remembering your old email address. So we just have to fix that. We're going to click sign in to join. And when you click sign in to join, you'll get a screen like this or you'll get something pop up where it's asking you for an email address and password. It's important not to put your email address or password in here. What you're going to do, again, whenever you're asked to sign into Zoom from now on, you click the SSO button. And when you click the SSO button, this is what I was saying before too, you might get a give me your company domain. Our company domain for both students and teachers is dcdsb ca. So you're just going to type that in there and click continue and now you're ready to go back to Edsby and click that link again and if you click that link again after doing this it will definitely take you to your correct Zoom meeting. Okay, For teachers now uh, we're going to go into one other setup for teachers so that only authenticated students can join your meeting. So teachers, you've set up your new Zoom account, you've put in the DCDSB hyphen CA if it's asked for, you're always using SSO to log in now, you're not typing in your email address and password, you're using SSO to log into Zoom. And now once you come into Zoom, what, what you want to do is whether you're in the Zoom website or if you're in the Zoom application, you want to go to settings. So I'm going to click settings here on the website or if I'm in the application, I might come up here and click on my settings. Where's my settings? Let me go home here. I'm in my chat. If I go to my home and I go to my settings, where's my settings? Join, share screen. There we go. Settings up here in the top corner. So again, I clicked home. I've got a gear for settings. And what will happen is a new box for settings opens up when I click settings. And here they are. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to click more settings, view more settings. So under general on the left, I click view more settings and it will take me to the exact same page. It'll take me to the exact same web page right here. Okay, and so what I want to do is I want to scroll down and I want to look for a setting that says only authenticated meeting participants and webinar attendees can join meetings and webinars. So I want to make sure it's blue. This is no, this is yes, I want to make sure it's blue. And this only allows students and employees of the DCDSB to access my uh, meeting. If somebody else tries to access it, or they try to access it with a non-DCDSB or DC Live email address, they will get that error message that we saw before that they are unable to join the meeting. So this helps to prevent Zoom bombings to have this on. Please keep in mind, if you have guests coming into your classes from outside of the DCDSB, they will get that error message and they will not be able to log in. So if you do have a guest speaker, you might want to come in and turn this off just for that class. But otherwise, I would definitely have this on to only allow authenticated users to join. And that way you know that when John Doe joins, it is actually John Doe's account and not just somebody typing in, hi, my name is John Doe, because they actually have to authenticate with their board email address and password. Okay, so again, that's how to set up Zoom. We're always going to use the SSO option. We're never going to log into Zoom. Again, so if, if it ever asks us to log in, we choose the little key icon with the SSO, and that will allow us to use our board email address to log in to Zoom. If you have any questions, please email me, brian.chen at dcdsb.ca.